Oh, let's just draw it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Little Nightmares video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about some of the features that we didn't receive in the final game of Little Nightmares, but we might see them crop up in Little Nightmares too. So we're going to go adventure right in the past, all the way back to when Little Nightmares was a little titled called Hunger. Anyway, enough of the introduction. Let's get into this video. And fair warning, if you haven't already gathered, there are going to be spoilers, quite a few. So let's begin. So let's begin with something outside of the original Little Nightmares trailer, which was at the time called Hunger. The feature I'm talking about is of course, the whistle. Now, I could never find this in an official trailer, but I remember first seeing this feature in the data mind. I remember researching Summer 6's animations and found one that I've never seen in game before. For today's video, I decided to research a little more and found out that Tarsia had featured this feature in the demo version of Little Nightmares that they showed at the Gamescon 2016. As you can see from the footage, we can see six drawing the attention of the chef with a whistle. Now, this is interesting, and it's also interesting that they removed this feature. Now, gameplay-wise, it does make sense to keep it in, or did it interrupt too much and make it too easy? Did it break the mood of the game? Because from what I can see, it works exactly as it's intended to. And just from playing the game, I know for a fact that this feature would have been really interesting to have throughout it. And I do wonder if this feature will be brought back for Little Nightmares 2. Now, we will be looking mainly at the Hunger trailer for the majority of this next lot of information. So let's begin with the first thing that we see in the trailer, Six. Now notice that Six, as she climbs up the ladder, her coat behaves in a different manner. It seems as if the version of Little Nightmares had something along the lines of dynamic clothing, which basically means, in short, that the coat of six in these trailers and early demos of the game acted more independently than the version we see in today's Little Nightmares. Whereas the animations in the game control the coat, the coat in Hunger would have acted dynamically depending on the environment. Now, without asking Tarsia themselves, I can only speculate on why this was removed. So, I would mainly guess this was just to make Six look more fluent and bring more life to the character for the use of demos and trailers. Because let's be honest, unless you're looking for it, you can't really notice the difference. But put them side by side and you can. I also like to speculate that I wonder if it was removed because it was too difficult and too memory hungry to keep dynamically rendering that coat just to make it look a little bit prettier. Maybe this is why we didn't see it in the final game. Another interesting thing we see is in the janitor's room being explored and from this we can see how many iterations that this level went through. We also see the main camera has a different height than the one we see in Little Nightmares. I must admit, seeing this level of height really intrigues me and how that view would have affected the atmosphere of the game. Something I do wonder is how many times did Tarsia play around with the position of the camera while Hunger or Little Nightmares was in development. Another thing you keen eye viewers may have noticed in the original Hunger trailer is we see a small amount of footage of Six in the area which resembles the depth. 
Nightmares. Again, in the early stages of development of Little Nightmares, they must have explored the possibility of starting even further down than we originally saw in the final game, and have Six explore where the runaway kid did explore eventually. I think it would have been quite interesting to see Six fight off against the granny, or to even see how they interact from the story point of view. Something else that we saw in the Hunger trailer was the appearance of the gnomes, more specifically the barrel gnomes as they've been dubbed. I call them the barrel gnomes because instead of seeing the usual cone heads on the head, we see a wooden cylindrical item. And I can only assume that as the story of Little Nightmares matured and Tarsia found its pieces and puzzles, they made the gnomes adapt to the story and give them more of an interesting and mysterious appearance but then later down the line it makes much more sense to us. At around 30 seconds into the hunger trailer we see Six lighting her lighter and walking in a very dark room. From the look of it we can see that it is in fact a dining room. What's interesting about this room from the story perspective is that it appears all the food in the dining room has been consumed and whoever or whatever was there isn't anymore. With that being said, I wonder if we could theorise that that dining room is the one we see when going out of bounds and seeing around on the last chapter of Little Nightmares. If so, what would be interesting about this is that we see Roger in the room for the trailer. So in Hunger, it seems that we got to see a little bit more of Roger in Hunger rather than having his arms cut off quite prematurely in Little Nightmares. It seems also another interesting point is that the janitor had more of a vocal audio as we see in the Hunger trailer. While on the topic of Roger, I find it very interesting how we hear more of him in the Hunger trailer as it seems as if Roger has more of a dialogue driven audio. I do wonder why they remove this and just limit Roger to grunts and sounds rather than giving him a few small words but then again that would go against every other character not being able to speak. But with that being said at some point in the past development they were planning to make him somewhat speak. And of course after a few cuts in the trailer we see chef number three. The one we never knew. Not much can really be said about this topic as we don't know much about him and he is not in the game or we can't find him in the data mine at all. Apart from a few pictures and whatnot and paintings, that's all we get in Little Nightmares. I do think about the possibility he may have been cut because his design doesn't seem to match that of the twin chefs. I mean, if you compare them to each other, they actually look quite different in relation to design. And maybe, if that being the case, their behaviour might have been different too. So yet again, it would upset the balance of Little Nightmares in the end. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, do you think you'll see some more cut characters? Do you think there may be include some of these features in Little Nightmares 2? I would find it quite interesting to see how the whistle will work with Mono and Six. That could be a very interesting dynamic in Little Nightmares 2. So who's to say the features that we haven't seen today aren't going to crop up in Little Nightmares 2? But with that being said, I do wish you the best morning, day or night, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for watching this video and let me know what you think in the comments below. I think, of course, I'm going to have to do it at some point a cover of City of Metronome because yet again, there are very, very similar parts in that small trailer that we end up finding in Little Nightmares and Hunger. So I feel like that could warrant a video for itself. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if there's something I missed, make sure you drop a comment below. And with that being said, I wish you the best morning, day or night, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next fairy video. Bye.